Today I'm going to go over some seated exercises that I want you to start doing at home. Now, remember that when you exercise at home, it's very, very important that you pay attention to how your body is feeling. So I'm gonna move this and go over the Borg scale. It is in my book and I, you have a copy of it in my book. I recommend that you make a copy for yourself so you have it and you know what to go by. But here we have the scale. I'll just go over it with you here. I want you to stay in the green. So anytime that you are working out, if you get to the feeling that it's hard, I'm not saying really, really hard because that's down here in the red. I'm saying as you're working out, if it starts to get hard, like maybe a five or a six on the scale of zero to 10, then you want to slow down what you're doing, rest and take deep breaths. If it's really, really hard, just stop, okay? I do not want you getting into these areas down here because if you do, you're gonna push yourself too hard and you're gonna be doing yourself more harm than good. So try to get out of the mindset of, I've gotta keep doing it and keep going and keep going even if it's really, really hard because that's gonna make me better. Get out of that mindset because it will cause you to have setbacks every time, okay? So you're gonna stay in the green, which is moderate exertion. So I don't want it to be easy for you and I don't want it to be hard. I want you to be right in the middle, okay? So I encourage you to write this down at your house so that you always have the reminder and as always, if you get dizzy, have chest pain, feel nauseous, cannot breathe to the point where you can't have a conversation with someone, then you need to stop and rest, okay? All of those are signs that you're doing too much. So that being said, I have a couple of different things here. You can start these videos with weights if you're strong or kind of strong, <laughs> I shouldn't say strong, I'm not strong. I have a three, I have three pound weights here and these are sufficient for me. So it's completely up to you. If you don't have weights, you can actually use soup cans. They're about a pound each, or you can do water bottles that are full. Those are about a pound each as well. So you don't have to go out and buy weights if you don't want to. Also, I use ankle weights and I like to just lay them across my legs when I'm doing the seated exercises. I don't actually put them on my ankles um, very often. It's just something to add weight to what I'm doing. So the very first time you go through this video, please don't use any weights at all. I want you to just get the feeling of where your body is and what you can do, okay? As you go, anything that's super easy for you, like I had said in the blue, then you know you can either add weight to what you're doing or you can pick up the pace and do a little bit faster and you can do more rounds, okay? So there's always a way to make it harder um, if you need to, but if, you, if you're going too hard too fast, then just slow down, okay? So I'll show you everything without the weights for now, but you can always add them, okay? So the first one that we're gonna do is just a side stretch. You always wanna warm up your body and cool it down before you exercise. So what you'll do is inhale as you're sitting up nice and tall, and then you're gonna exhale as you reach for the wall, and inhale as you sit back up, and exhale over. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale up. And exhale over. One more time on each side. Exhale. Inhale, come up. Exhale over. Good, now we'll do some shoulder rolls. So you can go either forward or backward. You're gonna do 10 in both directions. So I usually start off going forward. You wanna do 10 of these. Great. 
Now you can switch directions. And I apologize, I always lose count. Anybody who can sit and watch me is gonna know that I almost always lose count. And I apologize for that. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do around 10 each. Um, now we're just gonna do some shoulder shrugs. So you're gonna pull it up by your ears and then just drop them down. Pull them up, drop them. Up, drop them. I'm gonna do five of these. All right, now we're gonna do a neck stretch. So just gently lean your head to one side. Good up. We'll go to the other side. Up. Good. We'll do one more on each side. We'll do a side bend here, so hands behind your head. This is gonna work these muscles through here. Inhale through your nose, pushing your stomach out. And exhale to the side. Inhale as you come up. And exhale over. Inhale and exhale. And exhale. One more on the side. Good. All done with that. Now we're going to do arm circles. So your arms will go out into a T shape, they'll be level with your shoulders and you're gonna do circles, 10 in one direction and 10 in the other directions. Very small circles, okay? Nine, 10, and now switch directions. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now, you kinda of wanna do three of these if you can. A lot of times people will rest in between, so you can drop your arms if that was hard on your arms and then just pick them back up. And you'll do 10 in each direction again. We'll switch directions. You can drop them and rest a minute. And back up. And 10. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. You can put your arms back down. Now, we have something called abduction. So, what you're doing is your arms are down by your side, and you're going to pull your arms up into a T shape and back down. Up and back down. So, we're going to do ten of these. It's important when you're doing strengthening exercises or any exercises actually, it's important not to hold your breath. I do that myself. I'll catch myself holding my breath. I don't mean to. So you want to intentionally be breathing as you exercise. Like I said, we'll do 10 of these. Once these get really easy for you, add about a pound in each hand and you'll really feel a difference there with just adding a pound. Okay, now we have bicep curls. I'm gonna go ahead and use the weights here, but if this is your first time, then don't use the weights on this, okay? 
So your arms will face forward and you'll bring them up and back down. And we'll try to do 20 of these. That's one reason I recommend not using weights the first time. It's very important as you do these, you want your elbows to be sort of, they're kind of stuck to your sides. Let's just say that. You don't want them out here because that's gonna put a strain on your back and your shoulders, okay? So you want them kind of next to you like this. The movement just comes from your arms. You're not moving anything else. This is about 15, so we'll say it's 16, 18, 19, and 20. Good. So you can put your weights down if you're using them, and if not, just drop your arms. Okay. This one is an ab exercise, and it's a little bit different. So you're going to be sitting up nice and tall. And then you're gonna lean just a tiny bit back, okay? So instead of sitting up like this, you're gonna lean just the tiniest bit. And that's gonna engage your stomach muscles right here, okay? Your arm will be out, your arms will be out in front of you. And you're gonna pull as you go to one side. This is a seated row and forward. So we're gonna do the same side 10 times. You want to inhale when you're straight like this, and then exhale. So you'll inhale and exhale. The stronger your abs get, the further you can lean back in this. But when you start off, just lean back a tiny bit. Excellent. You can sit up, rest just a second, and then we'll do the other side. So, arms in front, slightly bend back, inhale through your nose, and exhale to the side. Inhale as you go back, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Exhale. Just a couple more here. We have three more. One more. You can really feel that in your stomach. So if you want to add that exercise onto your hardcore exercises, go right ahead because it's a great one for your core. All right, so the next one that we're going to do are knee ups. So I'm going to move these weights, but like I said before, you can either, you can do it without any weights at all, or you can put weights across your legs like this. Or if you have arm weights, but no ankle weights, you can just rest your arms on your legs while you do it. It's completely up to you, but you can always add stuff if it's really easy. So what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be basically marching in place just with your legs. So you're going to go up and back down. And you're just going to alternate legs here. You're going to do 10 on each side. You want to 
want to make sure the movement is nice and controlled. That's where you're going to build your strength. And we'll do one more. Okay, awesome. Okay, now the next ones are seated kicks. So what you're going to do is sit up nice and tall and you can use the chair for support either on the side or right here. And you're just going to kick one of your legs out and hold it for five seconds and bring it back down. Next, up, hold, and back down. Up and hold, and back down. Good. We're going to do five on each side. going to do is you're going to be pulling your heels off the floor and pointing your toes. So these are called calf ups. And you're going to be literally just raising your heels off the floor, working your calf muscles. Okay. So we'll do 10 of these or we'll do 20 of these 10 on. No, we'll do 20 all the way around. We're going to do both of them at the same time. So we're just going to go up and back down. Heels off the floor and back down. Your toes stay on the floor the whole time. So like I said, if these are really, really easy for you, you just add a little bit of weight. Okay. Now we're going to do the opposite. So your heels will stay on the floor, but your toes are going to come up and back down. Just like that. They're going to point to the sky and go back down to the floor. So up to the sky and back down. Up and back down. We'll do 20 of these again. And just remember to breathe. Nice big deep breaths in and out using your diaphragm as you exercise. Okay, three more. Okay, now we'll do a little bit of stretching here. If you can, you can cross your legs and just lean forward. And if you can't cross right here, you can always cross lower if you need to. And cross and lean forward. Good. Now you can straighten one of your legs out and just kind of lean over like you're going to touch your toe. Switch legs. Okay, good. Now we're gonna do a side stretch and reach for the wall again. So inhale through your nose and exhale as you reach over. Inhale as you come back and exhale over. Inhale up, exhale to the other side. Inhale up and 
exhale. Okay, good. Now we'll do a little twist. We're almost done. So you'll inhale through your nose and then exhale as you gently look over your right shoulder. Inhale as you come back and then exhale over. Inhale and exhale. Inhale forward, exhale. Good, now nice deep breath out and up. And then exhale on the way back down. We'll do three of those. Inhale and exhale. One more. And exhale. All right, guys. Strengthening exercises. You want to do these at least three times a week. Don't do them two days in a row. You want to skip a day in between so your muscles have time to build. Okay? So um, add these on to your other exercises. Some of your exercises are daily. Now you have exercises to add on, but they're going to be every other day, okay? And like I said, you could do three times a week. It doesn't have to be, you know, where you have to do it every other day, but do it at least three times a week every other day. I usually recommend Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but it's completely up to you. All right, thank you.